Good evening, this is Apostle Derek from South Africa. Today I'm just going to share a few thoughts and a few things from my heart that I see that is happening, especially in Africa and in third world countries. And I think this is what Satan is really doing and really having his way amongst the nations and it has to do with Bible schools, certificates and a seeking to have another certificate on your wall, a diploma saying I have done this, I've achieved this. In many of the African nations and in and also in in Asia in many of the third world countries a lot of the gospel is directed towards this certificates gaining knowledge and having some kind of recognition and this is taking the people of God in the wrong path they're taking people seeking certificates seeking knowledge but they are devoid of true spirituality, of a true relationship with Jesus Christ and with the depth of knowing Jesus himself, the fullness of knowing him. And that is so contrary to what I teach on our website Revival Central. What I'm teaching is, is really being established in Jesus himself. And there's a remnant of God throughout the earth today and they're not concerned about diplomas and certificates but they're seeking the Lord they know him and I just need to just maybe bring this as a warning to those in Africa third world nations and sometimes I've been part of certain ministries myself where there's an emphasis so much on certificates and Bible schools. I'm not knocking seminaries in a way that's, that sometimes one does need to have knowledge. Uh, there's a lot of you know, truth there as well with uh, and a lot of things that do come through with seminaries and Bible schools. So I'm not just knocking all formal education. But we need to just think about these things and definitely not be focused in that direction. That's not the way of the remnant. Jesus himself did not come uh, through the religious establishment in Jerusalem. He did not come as a as someone that had been under all the, the, the teachers of Israel. No, he didn't come through that system at all. And that's also the way of the remnant. It's a way of having a spiritual foundation in him and having a depth in him. But it's not seeking certificates. It's not seeking recognition. It's seeking to go through another course. Actually, what happens, you can have a knowledge of the word, but you lack that inner that relationship with him, and it's very deceptive. Deception comes in, and one is deceived. And if you think that is revival, just having one certificate after another, you're greatly mistaken. Revival is not getting everyone to have certificates and to gain through Bible schools. That is not revival at all. God forbid. But that's what's happening in Africa, Asia, and third world countries. There's a tendency towards that is really wanting recognition wanting to have certificates and they're wanting to go this route but this is not the way of the Lord in the end times I don't think it's ever been his way David Wilkerson warned of this many years ago that there's a system that's happening and it's, it's so contrary to what God's doing and it's so contrary to the teaching that I've I've been through since probably the early 90s when he took me into the wilderness he took me away from all that and 
I came to know him. And the people like Watchman Nee, uh, even Jean Guyon, uh, these people, they're moving to know the Lord himself. Okay, I understand that some people have an issue with, with Jean Guyon with certain things. And I agree, sometimes the translation, some of the things, if it's something's a bit off, I throw it out. But I can see the broader picture. What these people are bringing, it's, it's all about Jesus Christ, knowing Him deeply. And if you look carefully at it, it's there's a lot of the, the truth. It's, it's very, very important. It's about knowing Jesus Christ, being to coming into the fullness of knowing Him. And it's all this relationship with Him. It's not about knowledge. You see, you can have knowledge, but not know Him. And that's very, very deceptive. And my whole ministry, actually, I've got to be very careful with this, because I can get... Uh, the ministry can be tarnished. Because other ministries are, are taking... are trying to point you in a different direction to what God's shown me. The whole uh, message of RevivalCentral.com is towards knowing Him. And it's not it's not about getting certificates. You can uh, have a certificate course, but that's not the emphasis. It's not about having a, a certificate on your wall. It's not about having the knowledge, but it's having a it's moving to having an inner relationship with Jesus Christ to know Him fully. And it's very important in these last days so that we are truly established in Psalm 91 that we're living in, in His presence. And I just want to bring that across today because there are so many that continually over the years are just pointing to, to courses and certificates, especially in Africa, Asia, in third world countries. And I just want to point out that this is not the way of the Lord in the end times. We will not come into revival by doing following that path. The way of the remnant, the people that God is, is using, has awakened in these last days, is very, very different. And it's about knowing Him and knowing Him truly. Even amongst the remnant, there's a, a lack of true spiritual understanding. And I see a tremendous mixture there. And th that only God can really reveal to people with that. But the foundation that I'm bringing across, it's very, very important. I, I actually don't see it really coming forth in the body of Christ at this time. But it's a soundness in one's relationship with Him. And it will keep you in these last days. It will keep you from error. It will keep you in His love, in His presence. And it's a way forth, right? As the judgments of God come, uh, while we're waiting for Him to come back for the rapture, there are certain birth pangs, there are certain things. There will be tougher times as we move closer to that day. And we need to be prepared for, for those times. And there's going to be uh, more plagues, pandemics coming in the future. And we need to be walking and living in Psalm 91 that we're protected by God from these plagues. And that's only true if you have this true foundation, but it's not a foundation of having done a course. It's it's very different from that. True a true spiritual foundation in him is not about knowledge, but it's a living in him. You need to be become a spiritual person not one that's just knowledgeable. There's a vast difference between knowledge and being spiritual. And unfortunately, Bible schools do not lead you to becoming a spiritual person. You become a knowledgeable person, but not a spiritual person. And God's looking for a spiritual person. In fact, you can have been through course after course, and you, you can be left behind when He comes. When Jesus comes for his bride, his church, you can be left behind if you just follow course after course and you have this knowledge that you do not know him. He's looking for something else. 
He's looking for those that love him, that know him, that who are already seeking him. I just want to bring this warning today because it's been happening so much in Africa and maybe some maybe even feel that I'm part of it because of associations, because of you know, I've dealt with many leaders. Um, I've become quite well known in Africa and Asia around the world. Um, and I'm not knocking Bible schools in a sense of, you know, just a broad way, but I'm just pointing out that what God is looking for in these end times is very different. He's seeking people who are spiritual that know Him. And the truth of the foundation that I'm bringing is often very different from what's coming forth in Bible schools. It's different from courses. You've got to be very careful that the courses are really drawing people to Him. And just be careful with, with people just with what's happening. Because that's really not what God wants in these last days. He's seeking people rather to put aside everything, all those things, all your attempts to gain knowledge, all these attempts, rather to put them aside and to seek Him. That's what He's seeking. That's what He's, he's looking for the person that will put a lot of that which is religious on the side and that who will seek Him in truth to know Him, to know His heart, to know His love, and to live in His presence. That's what Revival Central is all about. It's not about doing courses. It's not about certificates. But it's about knowing Him. And I am concerned because I see that many, many in the church are missing it with this. And there's nothing I can do, only God can show this to people. But that that is what's happening. Anyway, this is Apostle Derek. And by the way, I, I come as an apostle not because I'm special, not because I'm some leader. Um, because today it's it's often about leaders. And it's all about, you know, leading and that. And that Jesus wasn't like that. He said, call nobody your father here on earth. In other words, there's only one teacher, it's Jesus himself. And often religion likes to have a hierarchy where you got people speaking down to other people. And often it comes with these courses and with degrees and certificates. You, you have a hierarchy. Uh, and I just want you to know that the foundation that I bring, there's no such thing as that. Uh, when I come as an apostle, it's about the foundation is to remind me that what an apostle lays the foundation, and it's the foundation of Jesus Christ, of a revelation, of a deep revelation of Him, knowing Him Himself. And that's what I bring across to you. It's not because I'm special. It's not because of leadership. Actually, and a true apostle doesn't lord it over others, not as the world does. You see, the, the world likes to have a hierarchy, a system, but the true spirituality, it's, it's not that way at all. In fact, this very foundation, you receive all people is from the hand of God, and you receive a person that's um, a student as the same as, as a teacher. You receive them both as from the hand of God. Um, so you don't have this hierarchy so much. It's very different in the kingdom of God. And Jesus tried to bring this across as well. And I'm just bringing that across that even though I, I come across here as Apostle Derek, it's not because of, of leadership, it's because of the foundation that I'm bringing. And it's very, very important, this foundation. Uh, for the body of Christ and that's globally not only in Africa Asia Europe but throughout the nations this is very very important in the last of the last days God bless